We are on the verge of living on a dead planet. Wildlife populations are continuing to drop and drop and drop, year on year on year, and nothing is happening. And you follow those graphs down, and they're going down to zero. And what happens then? We can't solve the climate crisis without solving the biodiversity crisis. By 2030, we need to reduce emissions by 45%. We need to stop burning fossil fuels and we need to restore the natural world. The climate crisis and biodiversity loss are linked and they are both as urgent as each other. What we're talking about in both cases is carbon. Carbon is not good or bad, it's just currently in the wrong place. The main building blocks of biodiversity on our planet are ecosystems. So forests, wetlands, peatlands, our soil, rivers, mountains. When they are healthy, they can draw in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and store them. But right now, these ecosystems are being destroyed and as a result they are actually releasing carbon dioxide. Now there are five drivers of biodiversity decline globally and we need to address these if we want to stop biodiversity loss. One, habitat loss caused by the expansion of farming. Two, direct exploitation of natural resources. Three, the climate crisis. Four, pollution. And number five, invasive species. By enhancing the natural world, by increasing overall biodiversity, we're going to be sucking carbon out of the atmosphere and getting it back into the living world. We've just had COP27, which is the climate COP. COP15 is coming up and this is totally different. The climate COP is all about carbon emissions, the biodiversity COP is all about stopping destruction of the natural world. This year is more important than ever because we are setting the next decade of biodiversity targets. If we meet our targets set at COP15, we can bend the curve on wildlife loss and then start to restore the natural world. We've already lost so much of the natural world, but there is everything to play for. And this COP15 is a great opportunity. If we get this right, this could be an incredible moment to save the natural world.